electrification and, and automation. And that is a dream uh, that we are all pursuing and, and that's a plan that we need to work on and implement. One of the themes that, that at least to me stood out here was on the whole topic of Let's call, we can call it digitalization, we can call it automation, we can call it automated technologies. Uh, basically have a, let's call it relatively simple question. It's all well and fine that we talk about automated trucks, for example, or we could also talk about automated vessels, automated airplanes. Realistically, do we have the technology ready to go or what is the time frame? And the second question to that is, does the industry have the right people? Because one thing is we had a lot of people that we were capable of sending back home. But if we're looking into a future which is highly automated, relies on different kinds of technologies, different business processes, do we actually have the right people or do we need to change something there? I mean, you mentioned automated trucks, so I think that, that we, I can speak to some of that. Um, and you talked about, you asked the question, do we have the right people? Um, I would also say, do we have the capacity uh, within one company to, to develop all of this and bring it to life? And at least the solution that, that our company is doing, we are entering into partnerships and joint ventures uh, with other companies in that field uh, where we pool uh, competencies uh, of people, but also organizations. Because sometimes you need to be fast where a large global organization that exists for more than 100 years maybe needs help to speed up in certain testing areas. So what we're doing is we're we are working in the United States with two uh, key partners, Torque and Wymo, to develop uh, autonomous vehicles. Um, we have tested already semi-autonomous vehicles that are serious production. We have tested them here in, in Dubai. Um, so. Is this something that will be launched next year broad scale? No. Is this something that will be coming for certain parts of the industry? Yes, definitely will be, and we are working on this. We are also partnering with um, other partners that would be unreasonable or un unthinkable. For example, with BP in, in the UK, we are developing jointly a network of hydrogen fuel stations because only the truck itself without the support infrastructure will be uh, not available. We are also focusing to the legal and regulatory uh, groups in the world, because obviously when we come with this new technology, uh, when we come with automation, when we come with hydrogen or electric, there needs to be an infrastructure and there needs to be a legal framework to make this all possible. Uh, the fourth option, and I think we all, I hear so much about electrification and, and automation. And that is a dream uh, that we are all pursuing and, and that's a plan that we need to work on and implement. But there is a time when traditional old tech, traditional, old is not a good word, yeah, uh, traditional technology will exist for uh, quite a while and, and at the same time we will see a very high-tech solution entering the same arena and they will have to be managed in parallel and and I think we need to focus on how we how we do the traditional thing and upgrade that as much as possible while at the same time exploring with high-tech solutions and that is why we're also upgrading our offering with traditional diesel vehicles with telematics services that interact where the truck interacts with the operating system of of logistics companies to, be, to become more efficient, to do driver-oriented trainings and, and management because, as you said, digitalization is the other big element and we need, to, we need to get into that as well. So I think for us, digitalization, we connect the trucks with, the, with, the, with, our, with our customers so that they can communicate and do better solutions. We are partnering with uh, modern companies uh, to develop uh, uh, automated vehicles and solutions. And we are partnering with, like BP, with other companies, energy companies, to build up infrastructure solutions when the new vehicles come. And we're partnering with government organizations 
for the regulatory framework uh, to make this technology also feasible in an environment where today I think it would not be.